Okay guys, thank you for coming to my channel and watching my videos. Today I'm changing a fuel filter on a Chevy 1500 Silverado. It's a 4 liter V6. The fuel filter, which I'm gonna change right here. I just bought the cheap one because I'm having trouble with the truck and I'm not too sure if it's that. This was only like seven something, I think. And I figured well, if it works and if I want, I could always go get the better one. But if it works, why even bother with it, right? With the better one. Anyway, uh, to show you where the fuel filter is on this truck, you see the two doors right there? It's gonna be located right here, underneath the frame behind it. I'm gonna go under to show you right quick. Now you see it right here. Two backs, you can see the whole thing. Okay, what you're gonna do, these two right here, and two right here, okay, these are the one whole unit right here. You're gonna put one wrench right here to hold it steady so you can twist this one. Don't just start twisting this little one trying to take it off or you'll bend stuff and you end up bending this and you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. You're gonna have to replace lines and stuff. So don't just put one wrench here and try to take it you're gonna twist this you twist this you mess up man same time same thing on this side you twist this you mess it up put a wrench here to hold it that when you twist this and then whole the whole thing ain't twisting and busting stuff up on either side so uh what i'm gonna do right now you want to depressurize it so what you're gonna do i'm gonna turn the truck on i'm gonna pull the fuse out the fuel, uh fuel pump fuse out and then let it die off once the truck dies off, it's not pumping fuel in there anymore, but there's still going to be fuel because there's fuel in here. So fuel's still going to drip out, so they'll think, hey, it still came out. Yeah, it still came out, but not as much as it would spit out for not depressurizing it. Okay, let me go turn the truck on, and then uh, I'll come down here and shoot the video as uh pulling that off. See if gas don't fall on me. <laughs> let me come back out from underneath. Let me get the truck turned on. First, let me tell you, uh, if you can find the fuse too, you come to the front of the truck, pop the hood, I already popped it. It's an electrical center right here. If you're gonna grab this, you're gonna pop it off. When you pop it off, you flip this this way. See? Now, when you look at all the fuses there, you got the labels right here, they're gonna be the same way. Don't turn it this way and wonder why it's not matching up or turn it that way or upside down. Pop it off. It's easy to come off too. See, it says lift, you lift. Okay, turn it around. Line it up, you'll be able to see. It's so simple, but look. Two big fuses, two big fuses. Big fuse over here. Little fuse, little fuse, little fuse, little fuse. Of course, some like big deep frost, I don't have it because I don't got real deep frost, so no. It's not gonna be there, but you look right there. So this right here, if you look at that fuse, you look at that one, that one's for the horn. You look at that one, that one's for the AC. This one right here, the DRL, whatever that is. Anyway, right here, fuel pump. You see fuel pump? It's gonna be the third one up, one, and the fourth one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The fourth one up, that's your fuel pump right there. It even says F slash pump or fuel pump, got it? Okay, so what you're gonna do once you turn your truck on, Come over here and pull this out. Once you pull this out, uh, the fuel pump's gonna stop working. And then, it's not gonna pump no more in there. It's gonna be less pressure in there so you can pull that out. Let me get this truck turned on and I'll come pull it out. Okay, I got the truck on. The reason I'm changing the filter is because I've been having trouble. I think it's either the filter or the fuel pump. But when I'm driving down the road, it starts going off. But let me pull this off. Don't break it. Now it's just using up the gas that's in there already. It killed. It used up the gas that was pressurizing the line. So now I unpressurized it. So I'm just going to leave that off for now, guys. So I unpressurized. Now I'm going to go in there and remove the fuel pump. I mean, fuel filter. I don't know why I keep saying fuel pump, man. Anyway. Let me get this set up on my tripod. I'll get under there and do that right quick. Got me some rags. 
Hopefully I don't drop nothing all over my sails. <sighs> So I try not to block your view. Can't guarantee anything because I'm trying to do work here, but I'm also trying to shoot the video, so that's the purpose of not blocking anything. So where's that? Okay. Get the wrench. Remember, use one side to hold this. Because you see what happens? You twist, the whole line wants to twist, and you're going to mess up the whole line. Use this side over here to do this. Okay. On this side over here, it's a 5 8. I couldn't find the right size for this, so I'm using a 13 16. I mean, it's tight enough to still hold it where I got to hold it. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here. Try to break it loose. It's not easy to fit, man. Okay, then I'll go right there. Let me try that. Uh-oh. It broke pretty loose. Easy, man. See that? They already came loose right there. See that? Okay, it's loose. So, I didn't pick the truck up high enough, so... So yeah, I'm gonna probably get gas and shit on me. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Okay, on this side, remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this will come in left to loosen it. Now, left on this side, you're gonna go, you have to go up or left. So don't get confused and try to do it the other way and rip shit up, man. So now I'm gonna pull those. There it is. That was pretty easy to do right there, guys. Okay, so I got that loose. I'm gonna get the new one ready. Here's the new one. I bought this. It's just a cheaper brand. It was only like six something. But like I said, if it works, if it is this, then I can always go buy the expensive one. But if it's working, why even bother, right? Uh, we'll see what happens. You got the in and out. This is out. This is in. It tells you out right here. Look out so you're gonna face it this way because it's coming from the fuel pump coming in here and going out to your truck for the front end so now let me finish taking this off if you're lucky it should be easy to take off by finger man see that they came loose same thing on this side once you once you break it loose it should come out easy and one thing I gotta tell you guys when you put this back in it's, it's like fine thread man so you got to make sure it's in there straight so try not to bend these pipes too much when you pull it off and then when you try to put it in straight you're going to go in crooked and you think oh it's just hard going in no it should the way it came out real easy right now you see me unscrewing it it's supposed to go back in that easy if it's, you're having trouble with it do not force it you'll strip the threads and stuff and then you got to replace other stuff so now see how I pull that out real easy start leaking gas hit it forward like that there you go. I'm gonna come back. I got the new one. Remember this going that way. Put it back in like that, man. Just like it came in. Same thing here. Put it like that. Now watch. We got a little bit. Should be able to go in pretty easy. Once you got it in pretty easy. There it goes. There it goes. See, it went. Finger tighten it all the way, man. That way you know you're in there straight. You don't want to go in crooked like I told you. When you go in there crooked, you know something's wrong, man. Something wrong, you messed it up completely. You tighten it. Alright, now my hand smells like gas and stuff, but... No, I said being a mechanic, you wouldn't get dirty. I'm not a mechanic, but... I want to be a mechanic, I guess you could say. I work on too many vehicles. I'll get you to run a CNC machine. So now, we're ready to tighten this, man. Make sure everything's sitting in there pretty good. That's good. 
Remember, don't go in crooked, guys. Hey, look. I didn't know you could do that. I lost my wrench right in that little gap. <laughs> That's crazy. That's funny, though. Alright, now you can tighten. Make sure you tighten it good, too, man. If you have to, like, go like this. Grab them both like that. Grip it. Tighten it. Ugh, that's tight right there. And remember, tighten the other side, too, man. Gotta tighten both sides. Put the wrench there. Put it right here, man. So you can see better. All right. That'll work. Tighten it pretty good. I don't want to strip nothing, man. That's it. <laughs> Woo, bless you. I had to bless myself and nobody else out here, man. Anyway, so there you go. That's how simple it was to do, man. Come back out. Just grab your rag. I left my rag over there. Ugh. Old fuel filter. I'm just gonna put it in there. I'm gonna leak gas. Let's get like that on fire or something. Later. Who knows? Anyway, just the wrenches. Oh, drop glasses. Put gas on my glasses. Come back up here. Remember, put your shoes back in. Let me show you. Look, I bent that tip a little bit. Don't don't bend your freaking shoes, man. The tip gonna gonna have trouble. Okay, look, I'm putting it back in right there. Went in easier than it came out. But then once you get that on there, put your cover back on. This, I still gotta hook the battery up and stuff up. The, we'll bolt down the battery. I still got it on loose right here. I was working on it. I'm gonna go back and turn it back on. All right. Let me see how long it takes it to turn on. All right, here we go. Oh wow, that turned on pretty fast. I got a low fuel too, look. Man. I just surprised it turned on so fast because I've been having a lot of trouble with this truck, man. And a buddy of mine told me a long time ago to try the fuel filter, and I just wouldn't believe it was that. But I mean, it came on. I have a lot of trouble trying to get this truck to turn on. I just backed it off the ramp. Normally, when I put it on reverse, it just shuts right off and stuff, and it's staying on even with low fuel there. <laughs> Fix and run out of fuel. You can see the fuel gauge. Wow, that's amazing. Huh? Need to be tuned up and stuff a little bit. Uh, hopefully it wasn't... I don't got to replace the fuel pump also, but... I can't believe it came on and stayed right on like nothing, man. Wow. I'm gonna have to take it for the test drive. Maybe that was what, that's all it was, man. I can't believe it came on that fast, man. I have so much trouble turning this truck on. I'm more happy than anything else. Okay, my glasses smell like gas, but I still put them on my head. Pick up all my stuff, my tripod and stuff. Hey guys, uh, thanks again for watching my video. Remember, this is a Chevy 1500 Silverado. We just changed the fuel pump. 
uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Get the word out there to people. I mean, if you need something done on a truck like this, let me know. I can make a video of it. If it ain't too hard to get to stuff, just to make the video, I'll make it. I got a Toyota Avalon right here too. You need something done with one of them? I got a video on the, the 1999 Toyota Avalon XLS. I got a video how to change the brakes. I'm gonna make another video on something else. But if you need videos on stuff how to work on something, let me know. I can make them for you. If it's not too hard. I, mean, I like just messing around with cars, so I'll just like replace the same part just to do it anyway. Uh, use the same part. I mean. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe and hit a thumbs up, please. Bye-bye.